there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the spooky world of pastiche of skin. <laughs> Today we're trying out the Town of Light demo. Um, scary times, I'm never really that scared of video games. Um, I think the last time I actually probably had a nightmare based on a video game would have been the Clock Tower game from the original PlayStation. I think I got terrified by that. Mostly because it was a little kid with a giant pair of scissors that freaked me out. It was terrifying. But yes, uh, since then, I've not been scared of any video game, so I'm not expecting to be scared of this, but let's see what they can present to us. The Town of Light, um, from what I could see in the previous demo, oh, look, perfect example, people going crazy, um, was of a psychological terror of somebody going through a town that actually doesn't appear to be what it is, essentially a Silent Hill. And uh, Silent Hill was a good game series, um, never terrified me, always had me more like going, ooh, What's going on inside the mind of that person? Why is this personal hell filled with giant throbbing sex objects and things that want to penetrate them made out of pyramids? I'm not too sure why. But uh, the Town of Light, obviously, the might be in that direction, but I don't know. We'll find out now as we jump in to the Town of Light. <laughs> Alright, so we need to turn up the brightness here. Because you guys can see Sweet Fucko! In fact... I can see, sweet fuck oh, myself. English, English, subtitles, yes. Okay, good and grand. Making sure the audio levels are good. Good, good, good. There we go. Loading, loading, loading. The scariest thing is loading. Waiting for it to load, oh my. And nope. No, 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 no. Everything's grand as is. Actually, in fact, is there, was there, uh, I'm going to see if there's a gamma voice there that we can actually turn up higher, but no, it's not. We all good. Why is that still going down there? Oh, it's because I'm using my arm accidentally and turning down the volume. That would be a bad choice on my part. So, uh, new game. Let's see what we got. The Town of Light is based on real events, places, and research concerning mental illness and the life of patients in lunatic asylums from the beginning of the 20th century until their closure. It contains stories which may be disturbing. The ch characters and names are fictitious, and references to people living or dead is purely coincidental. This game uses an artistic interpretation of a former Italian psychic institution, psychiatric institution for dramatic purposes. Please note that mental health services have radically improved around the world. If you think you may have psychological problems, please speak to a local doctor or specialist. Did I even, I think I might have already made a reference to that, and I didn't even realize this was actually about psychological institutes, so, hey, I can see the future. Volterra, 1942. So, we're going to be talking about in the eras where tray panning and electrical therapy was all common. Yes, yes you are. It's a place of darkness. Or they made me blind by stabbing a thing up in my nose. So I'm not creeped out at all. God, that's that twilight of drugged and beaten and well, <laughs> having your brain turned to tapioca by electricity. That would be terrifying. Uh, like, uh, it, that's that's uh, the greatest fear of actually like, it, there was an experiment, or well not an experiment, I said you had a test done by a couple of journalists uh, a long time back where they pretended to be crazy, but put in a mental institution to actually uh, like research it and check it and then weren't allowed to leave and then were convinced that they actually did have a mental condition before they left, which then fucked with their brains. Because everybody is unbelievably affected by uh, exposure to an idea or a thought. Like, you can make yourself sick by thinking that you should be sick, or other people that are sick. And that's kind of, it's a terrible feeling, it's just human beings are unbelievably twisted. Oh, first person. Okay, so, obviously we've got an exploratory game in front of us. Uh, open, close, can we open, close, do we open the gate, can we get out? And the weird thing is, this looks oddly familiar to me, like the location-wise. It looks like the kind of adventure park, or not the adventure park, but the camping park from, uh, what was that Nintendo DS game, Code Memories, or so on? Hey, we got a door open. 
Flashlight. Now we can see. Obviously, we're going to take a look around for things. Press the buttons. Look in the doors. Take the shovel. <laughs> beat things across the head. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going here, but I might as well take a look. Well, ain't that nice. Do we need to take the radio with us? No? Okay. Like a smokes. I'm going to make everything feel a lot better. And uh, nothing rotting in here. No, we are good. So, there was sweet fuck all in here. Fantastic. I'm assuming I was actually looking for a key or something to open a gate, but we find nothing. Um, <laughs> I think I've noticed this before, so I think other people actually, yeah, yes, I knew this was the case. <laughs> so there's actually, um, I saw a video online where like, there's always time to swing. <laughs> you can actually just sit here and swing back and forth and back and forth. And back and forth. Okay, wait, hang on. Get off the swings, but can we get on the slide? Slide! <laughs> My inner living penguin feels so happy right now. <laughs> Alright, so stop playing with the swing set. I'm playing with the seesaw now. Yes, we can! <laughs> seesaw! Okay, so we need to stop playing with the um, things. What we need to do is find out where we need to go. Um, so I can't get out through any of these gates here. So I need to go another way. Uh, this is going to be fun. Slow moving characters with no sprints. So obviously this is blocked off. I Thought this was where we're meant to be going. Oh, it is. <laughs> it does open on the right side. Like a it? Chilled out music. I've got a memory of this place, even though it felt like the scene that I'd seen earlier was actually later. But it's actually before this, even though this is back in 42 anyway. Shark boat. Why not? Let's open that door. Oh yeah, I know this place has been well ransacked from back in the day, its own day. Well, there we go, waiting room, empty, let's see, light switches, no power, calm woman's ward, okay, so we need to find the calm woman's ward. Let's keep searching, let's keep searching, 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 library, okay, another dead hallway, what, is there a door there that I can go into? Oh, that's sad. Uh, so ward one observation. We need the cam woman's ward. Where is the cam woman's ward? Is it actually the other direction? Uh, oh yay, map. Um, seven. That's where we want to go. We want to go to seven. Um, right. Look in here, seven, 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 one, two, three. Can't read where seven actually is in this. Really hard to read from a distance, actually, guys. Uh, huh. Four, six, five, three, one, two, ten, thirteen, eleven, twelve, nine. 
There must be up on the next floor, is it? Imagine it would be. Okay. Well, uh, we'll continue our search here anyway. <coughs> hey, come woman. Sorry. There we go. There's the switch box. Oh, that's creepy. Huh, very nice. So, everything should be working fine now? Yeah? Can I turn on the lights? Would that be helpful, please? Ah, uh, switches. Oh, well, I can actually see inside these running fire. Huh. Ooh. Telephone. phone. Um, is there anything worthwhile finding in here? I don't I the thing is, I honestly don't know, is there anything that we actually need to pick up along the way? Open doors, open doors, open doors. Always worth opening any doors that are available. No. Nothing of import. Alright. Uh, boom, boom. See, if I start seeing like things like bullets sitting on a shelf, randomly inside a library, I automatically assume that this becomes a action horror rather than actually being a kind of like playable story. Piano Superstore? Very nice. All right, let's take a look in the Cam Woman's Ward. Okay. Where was Charlotte? You might want to tell me these things. I mean, you did love your bear, but where is your bear? This way? Right, that was useful. <laughs> I mean, you said you say about Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte. I'm going like, where do you want me to go? On the upper floor? There we go. We're on the upper floor. Well, okay. Huh. So a bunch of teenagers have been here spray painting the place. I think they are wonderfully artistic people. Uh, that's very nicely done. Just, uh, it might be necessary to do such a thing. There we go. Get the lights on. There we go. Head open that door. Head open that door. This one is open. Hey, Charlotte! That you? Hey! She never gave me calls or kisses. But never to me. Right. That's not perturbing at all. Okay. This is wonderfully creepy. Yeah, so obviously the girl herself has kind of um, issues of her own about abandonment and of her mother's actions. So where do we take this creepy baby? Okay, so I'm going to get rid of good Charlotte. Good, good Charlotte. Where are we going here? Okay. Well, does she, do you have to actually do surgery on her or something? I don't know. I don't know what this is meant to do. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Okay. Medical diagrams are always creepy. Is there a switch in here? She's not feeling good, but I don't know what I'm meant to be doing with her. Uh. Oh, God. You want to tell me to throw her in the furnace or something? Yeah, that's literally what's probably going to end up happening. I'm going to do this a couple times. Okay. Beep. I think I'm... Ah, balls. Ah, there we go. And we go. And is there a way down? There we go. Hey, let's try this. There we go. Let's see if this goes down. Woohoo! It actually works. Alright, none more terrifying than using a super old elevator. I'm taking her somewhere where it's warm. I don't know where that might be. Even it's outdoors? Under the sunlight, maybe? Mm -hmm. Who get angry about what? Huh. Oh, well, that's nice. Assuming this is actually a film thing, so we can actually. Yeah, it's multiple pictures. Oh, yeah. That's good and grand. We'll leave that on in the background. Works for me. Yeah, let's take her outside. Uh, what? Oh, there we go. The one there. Uh, what the fuck do you want me to do? This is one of those games where I'm just essentially deciphering the crazy speak. A wheelchair on the ground floor. Right. Keep on searching for that wheelchair. No. Hey, there you go. Aren't you cozy? Wonderfully perturbing. I'm sure there's actually a lot more. What? Oh, to leave the wheel? What? I'm going to take her outside again. Oh, right. Okay. That's why we have to have the elevator run because I need. Oh! Oh, God! No! I said you got myself stuck in a quarter here. Oh. That was frustrating. Right. Close that. Go up a floor. Huh. Right, so we're going to see what happens whenever we cook a doll in front of surgical lamps on a chair. I don't know. Maybe we're going to flash back to whenever we were in the chair, and then that might be the closing kind of, like, jump scare. But uh, I'd be surprised if that actually is what it is. Back pedal. Backpedal at the door. <laughs> moving, moving into the corridor. Right. Surgical ward. 
was somewhere along here, I imagine. No, it's the other way. God! Wheelchairs! That's not it. Then this way. And... Yes! There we go. Oh, there we go. Is this why she just burns things? Okay. Down to the observation ward, Dan. You know what? Fuck this. I'm taking the stairs. It's actually quicker. <laughs> I think this is like one of, yeah, the elevator is kind of nice, but it doesn't take us that long to get down here. So, observation. Uh, no, that was cam woman. This is observation. Hooray! We made progress. Woo! Bright lights. Of course, this is in our memories. Oh, zoomy zoom. Yeah, zoom zoom zoom. Yeah, zoom zoom zoom. Yeah, zoom zoom zoom. Into the pits of hell! Ah! Oh, okay. This is the fact that I'm not questioning what I'm meant to be doing here, so I'm just going to let gravity take me where it needs to be. Alright, so if I, I don't need to correct my visual, because essentially if, if I turn up or down, it actually like doesn't react correctly. Alright. It's a uh, mind full of lights. No idea where the path's taking me, so I'm just going to keep following. Lup, be deep, be deep, be deep, be deep. Yes. Oh, it's so bright. The future is so bright. Oh, ah! I don't see. I have no idea where I'm going. All right. There we go. Ah, damn it. That'd be a terrible feeling. <sighs> what is the fear of? It's creepy that they don't have any necks either. That's terrifying. That's damn true. The idea that sends you just lock people away, threw away the key, is unpleasant, at the least. And sometimes it was the choices of the families that wanted these sorts of things. Hello?
No! It was taken away from me by the blinding light. The same blinding light I didn't... Oh, wait. Why am I... Oh, I must have moved into the bed. It's so weird. I can... You think about it. Somebody who actually suffered tra terrible treatment in a building like this, it would be such a bizarre kind of like flashback situation. Like, you're, you just couldn't... You couldn't be in this place without it actually hurting you or taking you back to that place so, so, so dark in your mind. What? It's time to find a goddamn window to climb out of. Okay. Don't know where I'm meant to be going. So we're gonna go this way. Follow the light. Try to get the fuck out of here. Charlotte? <laughs> right, so we've let this play on for as long as it has. Um there we go. Knew it was gonna be I knew this was gonna be the tail end of it. So, a psychological adventure. For a second there, I actually was looking at this, I was looking and going like, is that actual... I was warning there because it was like real action, live action footage mixed in. That's kind of sweet um, and important. And I imagine these kind of like stories need to be told. I'd be really interested in seeing more of the story, the, the actual story of this. The um, the mistreatment of psychological issues in the early 20th century is fucking crazy. Um, it's the only thing that actually makes me believe in... Um, do you know the, the anti-psychiatry side of Scientology? is basically it's like saying that all this shit happened. And it did. All this shit actually happened to so many people. And... It's really important to remember that we as human beings don't understand the mind well enough. And whenever we didn't understand it, we did horrible, horrible, horrible things to each other. But we're not that we're not not those people anymore. It's just important not to remember, not to forget that we actually did these things to each other because we couldn't think of any other way to deal with it. And it's something that's just needs that we need to actually recognize mistreatment of every single patient. Um, in so many, so many institutions, which really were run for as places just to hide away the the alternate thinkers, the um, the the depressed, the unsatisfied, and the scared. And like she said, she was scared of nightmares, but then she was actually going mad because of the treatment that she had. So yeah, the town of light. That was fun to actually play through for what it was. If you want to know more about the Town of Light, uh, obviously the developers have a lot of information on their webpage, and you should actually look up a bit of the psychiatric history of the early 20th century and about these kind of institutions. Uh, there was a series of um, examples in Ireland as well, specifically uh, because of a lot of these institutions being run not by scientists or medical professionals, but being run by the church. And they really, really fucked up a lot of people and actually made things worse for them by since you making it as a, there's, it's God's judgment upon you rather than actually being like, you're unwell and we need to help you get better. Seriously, um, lots of countries had serious problems with this because a lot of these kind of places were run by religious zealots in a lot of ways. But um, yeah, look it up. Be interested. Find out more. The Town of Light is available on PC and on console, and I could not recommend it any any more than I already have shown just with us. It is a walking adventure, a story to be told, and it'll be dark, it'll be unnerving, it'll be unpleasant in a lot of places, but sure, sometimes that's what we're actually looking for. We want to learn something that actually will shock us. So yeah, check out the Town of Light.
if you enjoyed me talking about this game, uh, although admittedly I was being very flippant all the way through it, except for this moment now where I've gotten all somber. But um, yeah, the Town Light is actually available for you to check out. The demo is available for you to try on the PlayStation Network. And of course, the game is available on both PS4, Xbox, and PC. So if you actually enjoyed me talking about it, make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and share it all around. This was right on maybe something around about here somewhere. Um, make sure to share it around. If you don't do the whole subscribe thing, completely understand. Not everybody does. Not everybody's into it. Nobody really wants to get it. Nobody wants to dedicate themselves to actually having to see my face every single day, but they may want to see it on a regular enough basis that they will memorize the name. Pastiche of Skin. If you know the name, then you can easily find me. Just Pastiche of Skin right into Google. I will not be hiding. It's easy to find me. Just come looking for me. Um, obviously, as well, one last thing. Yes, with the magic of YouTube, I can make things appear out of my mind. And they are going to be a subscribe button up here and a playlist over here. And way over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video dedicated to you. Yes, you, the viewer, the person who's watching right now. If you've made it to the end of this video, I say thank you very much. And this is a video for you to watch next. It'll be something that actually keep you entertained and distracted and you will enjoy it because it's based on YouTube analytics and all the things that you've been searching for lately. So I highly recommend you check it out. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next asylum. Bye.